Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So finally, finally after so much of ifs, buts, so many questions, so many assumptions, so many predictions, we have a tweet from CSIR. So those who don't know about it, CSIR has recently tweeted about it that they are going to conduct the next CSIR net exam in the tentative month of uh, May or June 2023. Now to most of our surprise, they have also mentioned in the same tweet that uh, they are going to merge or they are going to combine CSIR December 2022 and CSIR June 2022. Now there is there is so much of mixed you know mixed response regarding this. Uh, what I am trying to tell you like I am going to tell you in this video is I will try to tell you my opinion and both the uh, both the sides of the story okay what why is, is it happening what are the good things about it what are the bad things about it we are going to discuss all those things okay. Now, to make you understand about all these things, let me tell you that CSIR uh, like is a is an exam which is conducted twice a year. So, to all the students who are not aware about it, so CSIR used to conduct its exam twice a year. That is in the month of June and in the month of December. That used to be the cycle of CSIR. But from past few years, uh, due to COVID, it got the cycle got disturbed, and now it's very irregular. Like when it will happen, in which month, which uh, like when it is going to conduct, it is going to be conducted. We don't know. We all wait for the notification of CSIR and so many things. So uh, let's talk about the good thing first of all. So they have basically done this because they want to maintain the cycle back again. So the cycle was disturbed, as I said, because of COVID and all, and uh, the exam was not being conducted in the month of June and December, and twice they were not able to conduct exam in a year. So that's why they have to do this. They have to merge these exams so that now they can get away with that uh, with the exam cycle. And now if they will conduct the next exam in June 2023, then they will conduct in December 2023. And in that way, the cycle will be properly managed. Uh, they were also having one more option. Uh, that is they could have taken, uh, they could have conducted three exam a year, but that they didn't did. Okay, so they, they if they would have, uh, in one year, let's say, if they would have conducted three exams after every four months, in that case, from the next ex year itself, that cycle would have been proper. But uh, that means from the next year, they would have conducted after every six months, and then the cycle would have been proper. But that they didn't do. So one and the only benefit which I'm able to see from this is to maintain the exam cycle so that from the next year, from the next uh, term, you are going to get this exam at a proper time. That's the only thing. That's the only thing which I am able to see. If you are having any positive point about it, you can tell me in the comment section. Now, let me tell you, let me talk about the bad thing about it because there are so many. And uh, I guess this video is going to be, uh, like this video will become a rant video about CSIR. But let's, let's get with it, okay? So, as I said, that CSIR used to conduct two exams per year and that happened in 2019, the last time. That means in 2019, it was the year when CSIR conducted exam properly with the proper exam schedule and the timing. That means there were two exams in 2019, CSIR June 2019 and CSIR December 2019. Fine. After that, many things happened. We all have seen that COVID came. We all suffered. We all have seen academics, uh, like economics, everything got suffered because of that. But yeah, so in 2020, what they came up with is they just conducted one exam. They took that exam in the month of November 2020 and they called it CSIR 2020. So that's fine. That's that's fine. One exam in 2020 justified because that was pandemic and yet they conducted the exam. Cut to 2021. In 2021, because of the second wave, they couldn't conduct any exam. Okay, so there was no exam of CSIR in 2021. Fine. So they skipped 2000, December 2020. They skipped uh, June 2021. They skipped December 2021. Okay. But then in 2022, they came up in the month of February and they said we are going to conduct an exam and they called that exam CSIR June 2021. That means uh, the exam which was tentatively being done in 2021 due to pandemic, it was pushed and it was conducted in the month of February. 2022 fine so technically if you say so in 2021 there was just one exam that is june 2021 which actually happened in february 2022 
Now coming to 2022, in this year, they conducted two exams, one in the month of February, which was for the previous year, and one they conducted in the month of September, that they called it as CSIR June 2022. Now where is CSIR December 2021? Where is uh, CSIR December 2022? We don't know. So technically, if you see, if you see the picture, you will find out that they are conducting single exam, one exam since 2020. Now, how is this going to affect or how is it affecting the students? See, when this exam used to be conducted twice now, there was some planning behind it. Okay, why twice a year? Because many institutes, they have uh, like, uh, they intake the students twice a year, like IITs, many CSR labs. All universities they have their uh, the two sessions one is a spring session one is winter session so they used to take research scholars in these two sessions now because of these because each CSR exam also used to be happen in two years like in twice a year so every time fresh uh, scholars used to be there and fresh students would be there and they used to apply and they used to get admission in IITs or ISERs or in any institute but now since the exam is being conducted once a year and the intake is getting twice so it's it's affecting the number of uh, seats which are there and the number of students which are applying for it okay so many things are getting because this whole this ecosystem is basically disbalanced okay this can only be balanced by conducting or by maintaining the cycle back again and that's what they are trying to do but they are trying to do it and not in a good way because see now let's talk about this that they have merged this exam they have merged the CSR December 2022 and they have merged they at as per their tweet they are merging 2023 June exam first of all let me tell you that now they have lost the credibility okay like earlier we used to trust whatever they used to say if you remember if you follow the videos and if you if you are following CSR net exam you might remember that in 2021 they came up with a tweet again they came up with a tweet there they said that we are going to conduct exam thrice in 2022. They were so passionate or they were so determined about it that don't worry, the exam is going to be conducted thrice in 2022. And we all were happy with that tweet. We all were like, okay, okay fine. One is going to be conducted in February. One will be conducted in June or July. And the next one will be in the December. And that's how the, uh, you know, the, the exam cycle will be maintained. In 2022, there was no pandemic, by the way. Okay. And there was, there is no excuse that they can give why they conducted it twice they could have done it thrice in 2022 but they didn't did it as an educator as someone who is following this exam uh, it basically disappoints us even students also they are also getting disappointed that why this exam is so getting irregular it shows that they are not that much into it or they are not you know they are not willing to conduct the exam on time and all on the other hand, if you see gate exam, it used to be conducted once a year. I know there is less pressure on gate uh, compared to CSR because CSR is conducted twice. But still, gate happened even in pandemic. They conducted it on time. They didn't even, you know, uh, rescheduled it or anything. There was so much pressure last year. I guess in 2021, there was so much pressure on gate to reschedule it or to, to push it a little bit. They didn't did that. Okay? They conducted it on time. If they are merging the exam, you might be thinking Ki, it's a good thing. They are merging two exams. It's a very good thing. It's the only good thing that the cycle is going to get maintained. That's all. For a student per point of view, it's not good. Try to understand it. See, let's say if you are an aspirant who was who were willing to give CSR December 2022. Okay, you were you would have got two chances to apply for it or to, to give this exam. December 2022 and June 2023. But now you will only get one chance, that one exam. Either you pass or not. Earlier, you were having two chances. You were having December 2022 exam um, and June 2023. If let's say by any case, you were not able to qualify in December 2022, you were having another chance in June 2023. Second thing is, even if they increase the number of seats, even if they double the number of seats, then also the number of, the, the chances are less, right? Appearing for something twice, and going with uh, for a particular thing with more number of seats they are not justifiable both the things we cannot justify on one point of note we can say that there is no other options for option for them so that's what they are doing but there is option they could have conducted this exam thrice a year in 2022 they have actually actually initiated it very well they have done one in february one could have been done in july or august 
at late as late as august and then the last one they could have uh, conducted in the month of december so at a gap of every four months they could have conducted exam but they, they didn't did that and that's why that's why this is what they have to do there are so many reasons behind it maybe because of the uh, exam uh, the examination controller changed the one who was there when the tweet was there that thrice a year it will be happening that person has changed okay so officials have changed uh director of csr has changed so many things happened and again i'm telling that you cannot rely on the tweet <laughs> they earlier also they said that they are going to conduct it thrice so tweet is not something which is official okay that's just written on social media you can just consider it as coming uh, like you know uh, just the first impact of it official notification is going to become like whenever it will come and whenever that is going to be there then only we can say that whether they are going to increase the number of seats or not what they are actually going to do at the end so those things are like right now in the uncertainty itself what's your opinion about it i have said enough i guess about it and uh, yeah that's all about this particular video what do you guys think about this decision what are your opinion if you want any point to be added in this we can like you can add that in the comment section below and uh, that's it for this video i that's all what we can do we can only talk about it we can tweet about it we can ask csr to do that but at the end of the day they are authorities they are going to conduct the exam they are going to maintain the dignity of the exam they are going to maintain the level of the exam so many things are there and they have to take care of it we are the one who are on the other side we are just uh, following whatever they are doing but i'm not happy with this particular decision so that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching uh, you can drop your suggestions you can drop your opinion in the comment section below and uh, that's it see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take. hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much